So since I'm brand new to St. Louis, I had to go to the City Museum, one of the most interesting and complicated places I think I've ever seen. I talked with the museum's director and tried to make it through this massive place with the GoPro strapped to my head. October 25th, 1997, Bob Castley and Gail Castley opened up City Museum. It's all his creation. And with his crew that's worked with him for over 20 years, we continue to build and keep his vision going. The building is 10 stories, but the museum itself is only four right now. We have the rooftop, which has the bus hanging over the edge. It's got a Ferris wheel, amazing views of the city. You come down to the fourth floor, we have our contemporary art gallery and architectural museum. When you start hitting three, you start hitting all the big stuff. You hit the art cities, you had architectural hall. In the center of the building, yeah, you have the shoe shafts, which are the two double uh, 10 story spiral slides, a five story spiral slide, uh, and those go down into the caves. The second floor is the vault room, and then our St. George's chamber. First floor is underground tunnels above, below, the big whale, the aquarium. We, we have tons of slides. There's over 30 slides here. This is Monstro. This is one of the biggest outdoor playgrounds in the world. The rainbow climber up there is really hard on your knees. Um, but and you also got to make a turn in the middle to go from climbing to going down. So that, that's, a, that's a hard one. Materials dictate like what we do. We find inspiration in things. So if you're at the scrapyard and you see a certain shape, it might give us an idea. The city Museum is everything that I and, and all the guys that work here and, and gals, we did as we were kids. To be able to have an idea and then have someone actually build that and watch these guys come up with ideas and bring them to fruition, it's just amazing. And you can't do it on this level anywhere else in the world. <laughs>